Hey guys, so I am home and I'm filming on my phone right now, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I just wanted to get this boxy charm up. I was supposed to have two Ipsy's, two glossy boxes, and two boxy charms when I got home, and three Ulta packages. And I have one Ipsy and two boxy charms. I don't know where the other Ipsy is, and the boxy charms didn't come because they get delivered to my apartment. And because the box is too big, we have a very tiny, like, little um, mail slot. It got, both of them got transferred back to Glossy Box because I didn't pick them up. And my brother must not have gotten there those, um, like, between three days. If it's, like, three days and the mail guy comes, he'll actually take the packages back. So I got reimbursed for the Glossy Boxes. They're like, oh, it was, um, like, denied. So I was like, oh, I'm so mad. So I don't have those two for you. So today I'm doing two boxy charms until I can figure out where my other Ipsy is. I have August's Ipsy, but I can't find July's. So I don't know which house it got sent to. Um, I got all the mail from my mom last night. Um, when my brother dropped it off and then I got the August one. I had everything else sent to Chris's dad's house. So, or his parents' house so that I could don't do that. So we are going to do boxy charm today. I'm so excited. I don't have any foundation or concealer on. I literally have the MAC Fix Plus primer and I have some highlight from the Sleek palette, which, oh girl, I'm obsessed. Actually, most of this is a uh, sweat. So, no, this is not all highlight. This, a lot of this is sweat. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not used to the heat, actually, which is surprising, but been in the air conditioned car for the last five days but this is a sleek palette highlight here here and a little bit on my forehead a lot of it is just my oily skin and I have makeup on from both of these boxy charms and I can't wait to tell you guys about it so the first month was July you guys know about this stuff but okay so I saw so many videos and I even found a new um, person to watch that I am addicted to and her name is Tiffany Dawn and oh my god, addicted, obsessed, she is gorgeous. I love, 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 love her southern accent. It literally just like gives me life. Like that's just how I wish I could be. Um, but I saw her unbox these and I'm really excited. I saw everybody unbox these basically. So that I'm the last person on YouTube to do this. But nobody told me that in July's Glossy Bo or Boxy Charm, we were getting a Hello Kitty ColourPop color. What? What? I'm currently in my Hello Kitty room. For those of you that are new or don't know me, we have two bedroom apartment and one is specifically for filming, makeup, and Hello Kitty. So like this side Hello Kitty, this side makeup, and it is amazing. Um, I have it on today. It's the, and I'm not a ColourPop person. Um, I got, a, I've gotten stuff from them before and not really a fan of it. And you guys know I'm always honest when I get stuff and you guys remember I, 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 I didn't like it. So this is actually super cute. Ah, uh, I can't believe nobody said it was Hello Kitty. Like, hello, nobody said that. And this is in Lock Diary. Oh my goodness. And it has a little Hello Kitty on the packaging. Uh, sorry, this isn't going to focus very well because this is my phone, not my camera. Mm, I love it. And I set it down with, um, you know, the Kleenex and then the putting the powder over it. That's what I did. So, it, I don't know if I'll ever use this again. Personally, the color is a little too out there for me but it can definitely go in my collection so that was my exciting moment and then this is like a really pretty packaging oh sorry the Hello Kitty thing is um, six dollars so very exciting and then this is the um, eyebrow pencil for twelve dollars from Winky Lux I totally know what you guys are talking about now it is so rough I tried to use it in my brows this morning and my goodness you have to push and it's a really good color for me, but I, I, I can't push it. So I'm going to try um, putting a blow dryer to it and then trying it out to see if I can get it to thin out a little bit just to see what the consistency is, but I, no. And then this spray set go from Project Beauty. I heard it's literally like a waterfall and I tried it last night when I had no makeup on and it's a waterfall. I didn't feel like it was that bad when I sprayed it, but then like 10 seconds later, my face was dripping and I was like, oh my God, this is so bad. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be good to spray a brush with and then um, like pick up like the eyeshadow and stuff with kind of like a Fix Plus. Um, but I'm wondering if this will be good for that. So that'll be definitely something I'm trying and it is $32. So I'm hoping that it will. Oh, it says to spray at arm's length. 
So you're literally supposed to spray it at arm's length. That's, I probably should have read that. And then this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Palette. I can't use Bare Minerals, sadly. So I'm giving this to my friend that actually works at Bare Minerals. Um, and she's going to die over this. So I already t I texted her and showed her. I was like, oh my god, you're getting this. So not going to swatch it. Can't swatch it. But everyone acted like it looked so similar. I mean, maybe it looks similar when you swatch it. But looking at it, it doesn't look that similar. This is pure white. And this actually has uh, sort of like... Um, uh, I can't talk right now. Uh, rose gold shimmer. So $32 for that, I think, is a, wait, is this 32 or 36? 32. So she will like that. So, so far, the only thing I'm loving is this Hello Kitty Color Pop. And to me, it is, it is worth, it is worth the $20, <laughs> even though it's only six. This I am 100% in love with. Oh my god. I was swatching it last night and I was looking to see if it was still on there. I am addicted. But $45 for this? I wouldn't pay that. But oh my god. Oh! My favorites were this one and this one. And I can get, and I love shimmer. Like I love, love shimmer looks. So I can get a whole look out of this and I'm so excited about this. I feel like this is a perfect perfect palette especially for like nighttime oh, and it feels so sleek and I'm, I'm just excited to play with it so I'm psyched to use it so for me that was a win boxycharm just because of the um blank palette and the hello kitty thing and I'm sure if you can use bare minerals that's a really good palette too so that one was fun for me on to August. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I keep looking at myself instead of where the, I know where the camera is on my phone. And this is August and I love it. It says beach please. You guys know I craft with these. I collage them in my journals and stuff so I keep them. And I actually I don't know if I told you this. This is my first two boxy charms and they were the perfect boxes to start with. Um, so the first thing, and I did try some of this stuff out already, the first thing is these brushes, and I used two out of the three. I'm not a chisel person, I can never find contour or bronzer that actually is light enough for me, so the chisel brush, um, I'm actually going to be passing along to probably Sam, um, who's getting my Bare Minerals palette to see if she wants them. These two though, oh my god, they feel so good quality. These two I used today, and I love them, I loved this, I used it for my blush today, oh my god, a in love and that's $26 I'm so obsessed and I've really been thinking about getting the Morphe brush subscription so I think I'm gonna try to see if I can get that for myself um, but I liked these a lot this one I obviously is the crease brush and I used it um, the eyeshadow that I used which you'll see in a second very chalky so it wasn't the best with this like my crease really sucks and I really had to blend but this was really really good for doing that and for a eyeshadow that really messed up my eye look when I put it on um from the chalkiness and the fallout this really blended it back I was so happy so good on that and then there's this lip product which I'm so obsessed to try to wear the color I love this and it's a matte unfortunately matte doesn't really look good on me because it really just sucks to all of my dry lips. I feel like I'm really gonna have to try to figure out how to make this work. Um, this one is $14.95 from The Beauty Crop. It's so beautiful and it smells like cupcakes and I love the little lips on it. Like it's just beautiful. So I love that. So excited about that. These I don't use eyelashes. So it's going in for my Christmas giveaway. Um, don't use, I've never used fake eyelashes. So, I have naturally long lashes, if you're new here. Um, and then I used this Bella Pier eyeliner today. I used it up here on my, oh my god, hold on, hold on, on my tight line and my waterline. Um, I personally liked it. I love Bella Pier, and you can never have too many black eyeliners. Just rotate through them. $15, I don't know why I'd pay $15 for that, because at that point, I can almost just get the Urban Decay one. That's my favorite. So, yeah. And then... The Puce de Resistance Tarte Palette. Oh my god. Um, unfortunately, I didn't like it, <laughs> which I'll tell you in a second. So I think I'm actually going to gift this to my cousin. Um, well, not gift because it was free, but I think, well, not free, but I think I'm going to give this to her because I just was not a fan of it. Um, I do love the Giant Mirror, which I don't want to blind you guys here, but oh, 
it they're so pretty but they didn't even swatch well so I don't know why I thought they would work good I, I tried to put it on my eye and I was like it, I don't see this at all um, I used this one all over the lid I used this one in the outer corner and I used this one in my crease um, I had to like I swatched them and I was trying to dig my brush into them and I had to dip I had to spray my brush with the fix plus to even get any sort of pigmentation out whatsoever and I, I think it looks okay especially this color but this color reminds me of half baked from urban decay which I have so I, I just don't need this um but if you didn't get the boxy charm and you want this this is on Sephora right now for $18 because I think it's just because summer is almost over so that So all in all, I think the July box won for me because of that Blink palette, um, but I really liked the brushes in this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more BoxyCharm, if I should keep getting the BoxyCharm, which hopefully I will, um, and I will see you guys later.